a T markup in Affinity. Create your design in a new document and save the document. Open your image with the T shirt and place your file with the design. In the Layers panel, select your imported design and lower the opacity. Now add a live mesh filter from the Layers panel. Adjust the mesh until you have a good fit. Make sure to follow the contour of the fabric. Once you're done, group the layer with the mesh filter. Open the blend options and lower the shadow and the highlight range from the underlaying composition. If you feel the design is faded out, duplicate the layer, change the blend mode of this duplicate to hard light, and then from the blend options, change the ranges to exclude the shadows. Optionally, decrease the opacity if the effect is too strong. The final step is to add shadows and highlights for the perfect blend. Add a pixel layer on top, set its blend mode to soft light, and use a soft, low flow brush and paint on the shadow areas with a dark grey color. If needed, you can also paint in some highlights with a light grey color. To make sure the painted area only affects the design, duplicate the warp design group, then reset the blend mode to normal and the opacity to 100%. Drag and drop it on the pixel layers icon so it will act like a clipping mask. Our design is ready. Because we used an embedded design file, we can double click on the design layer to open it up in a new tab. Make the changes in your design and be amazed that the mockup has been automatically updated. Before you leave, here is a pro tip. Drag the embedded document out and now you have a separate window where you can modify your design and see the changes in real time. Pretty awesome. You can close the window and that is how you create 